mud piles is a mnemonic used to remember the causes of a high anion gap metabolic acidosis. The serum anion gap is the difference between the sum of the positive and negatively charged ions in the serum. Mostly, this is the concentration of sodium, minus the concentration of chloride and bicarbonate. Potassium is also sometimes considered, but oftentimes the only positive ion considered is sodium. A normal anion gap is between 8 and 16 milliequivalents per litre when potassium is not considered, but this is really variable between labs. According to the latest classification, using ion selective electrodes, an anion gap is considered high when it is above 11 milliequivalents per litre. Remember, the anion gap shows you the ions that are not accounted for in the formula, so if the anion gap is high, it shows you that there is something else other than the other expected ions like phosphates, calcium and magnesium present in the blood. So the mnemonic mud piles. M is for methanol as well as for metformin, particularly in patients with renal failure. U is for uremia, coming from chronic kidney disease for example. Then we have D for diabetic ketoacidosis and P for paracetamol and propylene glycol which is a stabilizer in many medications. The I stands for infections, iron, isoniazid, which can cause lactic acidosis in an overdose, as well as inborn errors of metabolism, which are more relevant in pediatric patients. L stands for lactic acidosis, while E represents ethylene glycol and ethanol. S is for salicylates, so this is where you remember aspirin. Causes of a normal anion gap metabolic acidosis can be remembered with the mnemonic hard up. Normal anion gap acidosis almost always features a drop in bicarbonate, and therefore as a result, we almost always see the level of chloride increase in an attempt to balance it out, which is why it's often called hyperchloremic acidosis. This is also the reason it's a normal anion gap acidosis, because the bicarbonate ion we lost is replaced with chloride, so no difference is noted in the formula. H stands for hyperalimentation, meaning usage of total parental nutrition, and A stands for acetazolamide use, which is a carbonic anhydrase inhibitor. The R is one of the biggest causes, which is renal tubular acidosis, specifically type 1 which is distal, type 2 which is proximal and causes bicarbonate loss, and type 4 which is due to low aldosterone and features hyperkalemia. D is for the other big cause. Diarrhea. Remember that in diarrhea you lose bicarb, and in vomiting you're losing acid, so end up going towards alkalosis rather than acidosis. U and P both involve fistulas. U stands for uterosigmoid fistula, which causes the colon to waste bicarbonate, and P stands for pancreatic fistula, because the pancreas secretes bicarbonate-rich fluid.